where it's my great pleasure to introduce uh, best-selling author, mythologist, a complicated word which has all kinds of connotations, and illustrator, Devdat Patnaik. Please give him a very big hand. Uh, and we are going to talk on a fascinating issue of pluralism. And is it the essence of India? So Devdat, let's start by me suggesting that that's a truism, that India is plural, that we are a country which celebrates unity and diversity. But I want you, Devdat, to define what pluralism means according to you, particularly from a mythological perspective, if possible, through your remarkable art of storytelling. Um, so, see, nature is diverse. So that's a given. Nature is diverse. You have different geographical areas, different climates, different kinds of plants, animals. How humans respond to diversity is different. So pluralism is a human response to diversity. Uh, that's the difference between these two words. Diversity is what you have. It's the stimulus. And pluralism is a response, a choice of response. Now, if you go from the, um, look at India, look at the map, and then you have, you know, India right in the center, and you travel westwards, you will find cultures which for a thousand years were told that on Friday you have to pray. Entire cultures. You go beyond and you'll find entire cultures which for a thousand years were told every Sunday you have to pray. Now move towards the east and you go towards and you'll find cultures that you can't access without passing through a firewall or a great wall where everybody writes the same script even though they speak multiple languages which are called dialects. So, you know, when I give lectures, I always show the Indian currency note and I show them the Chinese currency, and I say, how many scripts do you see on a Chinese currency? And that script can be pronounced differently in North China, South China, East China, West China. You go to, um, you show the US dollar bill, how many languages do you have? You show them the European Union, and you see the struggle to keep four scripts on it. And then I make them read the number of languages and scripts you have to see in Indian currency. And that itself shows, whether you like it or not, you have to deal with diversity in India. The, the, I mean, the statement given is pluralism is the essence of India. Diversity is the essence of India. Pluris, pluralism is about Indians. Are Indians plural? India is diverse. That's a given. You can't do anything about it. This is what you're given. Indians as human beings, do we choose to be plural? Now, that Indian part is important. So India and Indian are not the same thing. India is an entity, but Indians are people who have to take decisions. And for me, pluralism is a decision. But, you know, the anthropological survey of India suggests that this is a land of what? 4,635 communities, that is I, India. Uh, the linguistic survey of India, 22 languages in the age schedule alone, a hundred other languages and dialects. Now, Therefore, in this, what we've accepted as a diverse country, how do you actually embrace pluralism? Is it about acceptance of the other? We have among the largest religious minorities in this country. We have people who are speaking, who have linguistic minorities, uh, the sheer variation of caste groups, communities. How do you build a sense of plural values in such a vast, diverse society? I don't think anybody is a majority in India. Nobody is a majority in India. We fool ourselves. It's a, we use slice and dice techniques to call that this is a majority community and that is a minority community. But you genuinely look at India, it is a collection of minorities. And then the minorities cluster together to form various kinds of interest groups depending on how they want to shape their lives. There is no majority. I mean, there is no such thing. I mean, democracy is based on these structures. But 
because you have to make choices with few people and the process demands creation of majorities and minorities. But generally, the country is full of different linguistic groups, different tribal groups, different ethnic groups, uh, different, re even when we say a minority religion, there is no one group. There are multiple groups within that, linguistically divided, culturally divided, uh, ritual practices that they follow. So there is no majority that I, can, I can't find it. 